Welcome to the broadcast and live stream of Moonshot Radio. Moonshot Radio is generously sponsored by the PNC Grow Up Great Program. And here's your host, Dr. Nivia Torres. Greetings and welcome to Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn. I'm your host, Nivia Torres, Executive Director of the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative, also known as KRC. Our vision is that all children in Indian River County will be ready for kindergarten. We proudly partner with the Moonshot Moment, who is transforming the next generation in Indian River County by having 90% of all students reading on grade level by the third grade. Joining me today is Cami DeMario. Cami is a children's book author and illustrator, and she is joining us live from the Vero Beach Art Club. Welcome, Cami. Thank you, Nivea. Thank you for having me. So nice to see you again. It's been a while. Well, it's it's been a while. It's nice to see you. You joined us a while back on the show to talk about your writing and your illustrations. And today we're here really to celebrate you and celebrate the success of the world of happy. But for those viewers who did not see the first show, talk to us a little bit about the world of happy happy what is the message of the world of happy and where did the idea um, come to birth the world of happy uh, started uh, when i was living in the bahamas with my family uh, and it was uh, one day that i walked down the beach and i saw this beautiful starfish in the water and uh, all of a sudden i said okay uh, i think uh, i found a new character <laughs> And I went home and I draw it and uh, there came happy, uh, the red starfish. And the word of happy came along because I started to write more than one book. And it's a message uh, of friendship, diversity. Um, happy is very compassionate character. He travels the world with his friend Floppy, the seagull and Bella another starfish and the first book that I published uh, about 10 years ago now was called the world of happy let's all be friends but now I just finished and published the, the other book the world of happy after the storm a green turtle journey and happy and, um, floppy Oh, I'm sorry, Cami. I was just going to say no, that no, happy, okay. floppy, and happy, happy, floppy, and Bella are joyful, beautiful characters that come through life with your yes. stories, and it's so it's so appropriate for us living here in Indian River County because of our proximity to the ocean, and we have the lagoon, and Happy does exactly. share a message about preserving and taking it care of our environment, right? It does. It does. As a matter of fact, my new book, it's about protecting the, the ocean and the environment and uh, recycle and clean up beaches. And that's a, that's a very important message in, in the new story that I just published. And I think uh, not just children, young children will enjoy this, this stories, but right? it's, 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 it's for adults as well. <laughs> They they really can enjoy and uh, read in the books and the stories to their children and uh, share very positive messages, which we really need this time of the day and in our world and try to find, uh, you know, be together and uh, respect each other and what surrounds us. I, I love that you say to respect each other and what surrounds us because the world of happy really celebrates that. It's a celebration of life. 
it's a celebration of the yes. environment and it's a celebration of friendship. And, you know, the book really, really conveys that. Cami, how are you able to put words and pictures together? I know that you're an illustrator also for other books, and I'm always intrigued by that process because these characters really do come to life. Uh, it, it, it's, yes, it is a process. And um, and sometimes it's it, it's quite funny because sometimes I I think about the words and the story first, but sometimes also it happens that I have visions of illustrations, and um, and when they come to my mind and I and I put it down on paper, I work on the illustration and then I I put the words together. So it depends. It uh, it just yeah, those are the two, two things that uh, that I that I usually follow, and uh, I like more to think about the illustration, and then put the words to the illustration. That's my favorite part. I guess that I love to illustrate. I love bright colors, and I really enjoy to immerse myself in my fantasy world escape reality sometimes it's a, a great therapy so that's what I usually do I draw first and then put the words together and I see that there's actually a beautiful picture of the red starfish behind you of mm -hmm. happy so talk yeah. to us um, what has been the evolution from the world of happy to now green turtle island what has happened to happy and what is the message of your new book, Green um, Turtle Island? Well, there is also a, another part that I would like to say regarding the second book, The World of Happy After the Storm, A Green Turtle Journey. Uh, this is a, inspired and uh, written to uh, after the, the terrible earthquake Dorian that hit the Bahamas. Um I was trying to, you know, to express something to, you know, dedicate that to the people of Green Turtle Key, which is the place where I lived with my family and my children, my youngest children for five years. And after the hurricane, I, I had this, this brainstorm and I said, okay, I need to write something and dedicate it to the struggle and and uh, and the build of of, uh, of the those beautiful islands so as a matter of fact the book came at the end because my first thought this time was to create and develop uh, the biggest dream of my life and it was a, an animated short movie so the movie happened before the book. And uh, I started to illustrate it. And I was so lucky to contact and find a, a great animator. And I produced a, a short film. Of course, I said to myself also, after the, the film was, uh, was done, I said, we need the book to go along with it. So. I I sat down and I recreated all the the scenery illustration for the book and uh, and that's why that was my my last step of this big project that was to fulfill one of my biggest dreams. But Cami, we have some big news to announce today because this short animated film has been selected for the Barrow Beach wine and film festival correct so tell us a yes. little bit about that because that is really um wonderful news for all of us here who live in vero beach and who will be able to see this short animated film yes and um yes so when i decided okay because i wanted to really of course happy comes to life through my books but like i said my biggest dream was to see really create it you know, a really live thing on, on screen. And um, so I contacted this great animator and um, 
and he, he said, okay, I'm going to help you. I'm going to, because I know I can draw, I can illustrate it, but I, the animation part, it's, it's, it's a huge process that you need really somebody that knows what you're doing. So of course I, I directed him and I sent all the, the storyboard and everything the way I wanted it. And he created the, the characters and they put everything together and it came out as a, as a beautiful film and a short film. And I said, okay, now the short film is to be seen. <laughs> I said, okay, you, you create, you produce the movie, and then it needs to get out there. And I said, what's the best thing then, you know, send it to the Vito Beach One and Film Festival. I'm here. I have, a, I think, a, a great product. So I submitted to the festival. And uh, after a couple of months, I had the great news that he was chosen and selected to be shown and of course, with the situation COVID, and it's been delayed because it was supposed to be this month, but it's actually happening uh, both virtual and in person. So in uh, August, so it's happening. And uh, of course, like everybody else, had to they had to you know um, find different ways of of you know doing the festival. But I'm so excited that. I'm in it and uh, I'm very honored because I mean, I'm sure I'll be surrounded by, by great filmmaker and you know, some of them already won great prizes and awards. And uh, so I'm a, this little girl, little girl, not too little, but you know, this unknown <laughs> filmmaker from, from Vero. And, um, and I, they, they also like the fact that I presented an animator movie because uh, I don't think uh, you know there is too much out there and about good animation and and uh, so I was very honored that I was picked by the 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 judges that decided to to show it at the the festival so yeah there was a, a great great news when I received the call from uh, Jerusha and an uh, email from, from the staff that uh, I was chosen. Yeah. Congratulations, Cami. We're very proud of you. Um, we're going to take a break to hear from our sponsors. But before we do that, Cami, um, how for people who are interested in learning more about the short animated film, um, your website or social media, how can they get more information about your books? Sure. Uh, I'm all over <laughs> social media, Facebook page, The Word of Happy. I have a Facebook page and I also have Instagram now, The Word of Happy. And over there, they can find all the links and go on Amazon. And my book is available on Amazon, both paperback and uh, Kindle. And uh, so that's the way they can find me. <laughs> and uh, I'm out the there. World of I happy. always post. The word of happy, yes, Facebook and Instagram, and I always update every day news and and uh, and fun things to to share. Excellent. Well, let's take a break to hear from our sponsors, and we will be right back. At the Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative, our vision is for every parent, regardless of income or zip code, to have the knowledge and tools they need to raise healthy children that are prepared for kindergarten. Our mission is to support our partners in developing a high-quality early childhood system that is family-centered. Our outreach and parent engagement specialists connect with families and build trusted relationships. KRC has chosen Felsmere and Gifford as our two focus areas in Indian River County. Our Felsmere office is located downtown in the city annex, and our new Gifford office is located within Victory Park Apartments. Our administrative offices are now located adjacent to Healthy Start and Treasure Coast Community Health in Vero Beach. The Kindergarten Readiness Collaborative, developing a high quality early childhood system for all children in Indian River County. Everyday activities are great for finding moments for talking and teaching new words. Babies' brains grow 80% in the first 18 months of life. As parents and your baby's first teacher, 
you can help build their brain with language and literacy skills. Involve the whole family. Ask questions. The more words babies hear, the larger their vocabulary can grow. Support early childhood education by talking, reading, singing, and family engagement. This message has been brought to you by PNC Grow Up Great and the Florida Grade Level Reading Campaign. At the Habitat Restore in Vero Beach, we applaud America's resilience our spirit of rising up over adversity. We're now open for business every day, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday to continue our tradition of serving the needs of our community. Of course, we'll abide by the phased approach using the recommended safety guidelines. We are now accepting donations, but ask that donors remain in their vehicles while Restore staff unload their car or truck. And until further notice, we remain closed to volunteers. Shoppers can always find gently used merchandise at great prices, values in home furnishings, appliances, home decor, building materials, electronics, and so much more. The Habitat Restore on U.S. Highway 1 in Vero Beach, just north of 45th Street, is open to the public. Your purchase helps to build one in every three Habitat homes. Shop the Habitat Restore, the store that builds houses. Habitat Restore is a nonprofit. At Mattress Market, you don't have to spend a fortune to get a good night's sleep. Come in and find the perfect mattress for you. Choose from top brands as well as their exclusive luxury brand, Posh & Lavin. Come in today, sleep better tonight. Discount prices, mymattressmarket.com. Planet Vero Radio and TV will professionally produce your show and deploy your podcast to all major platforms. It's aired on local radio, too. Call Idea Garden, 772-778-2832. You've invested in beautiful natural stone floors like travertine or polished marble, or maybe your home has Mexican tile or terrazzo. It's important to maintain the beauty with maintenance performed by experts like Ace Marble Restoration. Residential and commercial service, Ace Marble's highly trained staff has been bringing out the natural beauty in homes throughout the Treasure Coast for nearly two decades. Stone countertops and ceramic tile and grout restoration. Call Ace Marble at 772-589-3552 or visit Ace marble.com we're back to moonshot radio where every moment is an opportunity to learn i'm your host nivia torres executive director of krc and joining me today is cammy the mario she is a local children's book author and illustrator and cammy is joining us live from the vero beach art club and right before the break cammy was sharing some exciting news with us about the world of happy and her new book so cammy tell us what is next for the world of happy and this wonderful series that you have created well yes surprises weren't over yet because when i finished the the short movie and it was accepted by the vito beach wine and film festival um, i was actually contacted uh, by my agent Film Financing in Los Angeles. He called me up because he knew about the short movie. He saw it and he loved it. And he called me up one day and he said, okay, I I think I have someone that that wants to invest in a bigger project with Happy. And I said, really? He said, well, yes, they were talking about a a feature film. And I said, feature film? (laughs) And he said, yes. But what you have to do now, I need a, a full script. So we were not talking about anymore a, a five minutes, five and a half minutes a short movie. We're talking about a 75 minutes script. I said, okay. <laughs> I said, that really caught me by surprise. So, but I like to challenge myself. And I said, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to sit down, get into my <laughs> meditation mood, and create the full script. So I did. I came up with a 75 page script and now I have a movie production that he's investing and producing and uh, and also distributing the World of Happy feature film for uh, TV. So it will be a TV movie and who knows what's next. But I have to say that despite all 
the challenges this year between, you know, what we're going all going through with the COVID and other, you know, everybody has their own family issues and problems and is a, a tough times. I can say that actually I've been so blessed with all this wonderful thing happening. And um, I'm so excited that finally happy is finding his new path, which was the one that I always dreamed of. Because uh, since the day I started to write the story, I had the vision about happy day. It was gonna be more and uh, it was gonna end up on the big screen. And and I think uh, my motto, like, you know, perseverance and not giving up and, and just follow your dreams and follow your heart and, and things will happen, will come through. Well, so certainly a, a lot going on. <laughs> it is certainly the world of happy in your work is a model of perseverance and, and not giving up. Cami, I understand that you're also helping local children this summer. You're going to be conducting a summer camp. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes, well, this is uh, connected with the Vero Beach Art Club, which uh, I'm so happy to say that uh, this past May, I became president of the Vero Beach Art Club and after spent two years as vice president. And uh, at the club, we just opened in actually in March, we had the grand opening of our new location, the annex here in downtown Vero. And unfortunately for COVID, we had a very successful opening and uh, we were forced, of course, to shut down. But, you know, last month we reopened uh, following all the guidelines from the state of Florida, of course, and, uh, and social distancing and uh, all the, the, the required, uh, you know, safety things and we decided to watch well, i came up with the idea to to give you know kids art classes here at the club because you know our club mission is, is like uh, providing education also to the uh, india river county um, you know uh, um, students and any age from young ones and and middle school and high school, and uh, we every year we get, give our scholarship to um, senior that they graduate from a high school here in the area that they, they like to pursue the, her, their career in uh, in arts. So we're very very involved with education. So now I decided to put my knowledge and my little talent to to help the club. And uh, during these challenging times, uh, not just myself, but, uh, we have great artists that they came to the, um, on the plate to the plate and and help the the club survive and move forward. So I decided to give classes to young children, but this is a very exciting project because it's connected to my books, it's connected to happy. And uh, I decided to have the children become illustrator themselves. So I set up the project as six classes, six weeks or once a, once a week, and uh, have the children illustrate a new happy story, which I'm, I'm writing the, the story, the manuscript, and I will present the manuscript for the children and I have them illustrate the book. And the 12 best illustration will be judged and those will be the one that they will be published as a professional book and uh, and be sold and all the proceeds will come to the art club to support you know our our you know expenses because like any charities any people non-profit this year they're having really tough time and you know try to keep going and and do their mission and help the community. So, yeah, I'm happy well, to do you. that. So, thank you, Cami, so much. We wish you the very best with all of your projects. And we look forward thank to seeing you. the animated film. Until next time, this has been Moonshot Radio, where every moment is an opportunity to learn. <laughs>